Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace. Received another package of the mail from the NES dump. All the games that they sell are either $30 or $40. It depends on the game. And the shipping is free. Now what I elected to order were two games that were never released for the NES anywhere. They were released exclusively in Japan for the Famicom. Both have RPG elements. The first one is called The 100 World Story. As I stated, they take all the Japanese text, translate it into English, and off you go. $30. This, by the way, is supposed to be a combination RPG and board game. This one is strictly RPG and uh, it is Adventures of Mushishi, if that's how it's pronounced. As I stated before, released only on the Famicom in Japan. Here the language has been, the text has been translated from English into, or rather from Japanese into English. I was quite excited when I went to their website, the NES Dump, because now they're doing the same thing for SNES games and for Master System games. For example, This is a game that was released only in Japan for the Mark III. The Mark III was later redesigned to become the Japanese Sega Master System. But there's a picture of the Mark III. And what they would do is take the game, do any translating or whatever that needs to be done, and put it on a standard Western style Sega Master System cartridge and package. For example, this is one I received earlier Comical Machine Gun Joe. and a shmup called Satellite 7. By the way, if, you, if you're going for a complete NES game collection, you've got your work cut out for you because uh, Razor just fell because uh, at the NES dump, they offer over 400 games for the NES that uh, were either PAL exclusives, released only in Japan for the Famicom, pirated games, graphical hacks, that sort of thing. So there is a lot to choose from. Now, just quickly, go over the games that I already had that are either homebrews or the repros or their Femicom translations or um, graphical hacks. You name it. This is Airball published by Retrozone. The game had been originally developed by Tengen aka Atari but the game was canceled just prior to it being completed. So Retrozone went in and completed it and released it on cartridge. It's got a nice nifty brand new cartridge with the Cyclone chip which allows it to be played on either 
American or European NESs. Sarah Parker Pool Challenge. This is a repro of a game that was developed back in the day for the NES but was never released. Another one from Retro Zone. This is Ultimate Frogger Champion. Okay. Fudge cookies. How about this one? Um, um, Retro Zone. This is Super Mistake 2. A brand new cartridge with a cyclone chip. Even comes with a nifty manual. Kind of a cheap knockoff of columns. Chunk out two. Again, brand new cartridge, brand new board, and cycle and chip. This is another clone of columns called Mystic Pilaris. This is one of the few games that RetroZone offers that is not in a brand new cartridge. They used a donor cartridge. Originally this game was going to be called I believe Power Punch 2. But anyway, it was severely altered prior to release uh, graphically and otherwise. They, for example, took out Mike Tyson. Now, Mike Tyson is back in with this version. Mike Tyson's Intergalactic Power Punch. Okay, this next one is a two-in-one. Geminim and Simon. It's kind of a um, electronic version of Simon Says. Next up we have version 1.000 of Battle Kid, Fortress of Peril. A fairly hard um, clone of Mega Man. This is Battle Kid Fortress of Peril version 1.100. It had some minor changes made to the code, slightly different label, and this version comes with a manual. If I know how to contact any of these companies, such as RetroZone or um, Danny S. Dump or anything else homebrew wise, on my channel page in the profile section there is a section devoted to uh, homebrews and pirated games and such, and there are links there. Okay. NES Dump came out with three label variations for a game that was only released in Japan. Adventure Island 4. 
The first three games in this series were released in the U.S., but this one wasn't, as it was published so late in German and Japan that they didn't mess around with localizing it. Because now it has been localized in, in this text. This is my favorite label variation for this game. Adventure Island 4. This game is a cross between Spy Hunter and Rad Racer. And I believe it was initially or originally only published in Japan. Astro Fang. And then finally, a graphical hack of Wacky Races for the NES. Uh, they hacked in Harry Potter. You have Harry Story. Now, that's right there, lower right hand corner, it says hacked. This game has all new levels. So some work was put into it. Okay, I need to go and start uploading this. I have to do a video on my DVD pickups. I'm well over 20 that I haven't shown yet. I'm way behind. And I've got the package ready to I need to send out to Uncle Fister 77 and recorded a ton of video at Disney World, including uh, one, of them, one of their arcades. I don't know if I'm going to find it there. I won't mess with it now. But in the video arcade that's located in Magic Kingdom, there was not but one, two, three, four, five, six, but seven pinball machines from Stern Pinball, from Sega Pinball, from uh, Williams, and from Valley. So as soon as I get a chance, I'll get those videos up. I haven't been able to find uh, Windows Movie Maker on this new computer that I have. It's using Windows 7, whereas my old one was using uh, Windows uh, XP. It also only had a single main processor of 1.3 gigahertz, gigahertz uh, AMD processor. It's all things considered. Usually AMD processors run slower than Intel of the same uh, speed. So I replaced that 1.3 gig uh, processor. This computer has two 4 gig Intel coprocessors. The old computer had integrated sound and video card built into the motherboard. This one has a separate uh, video graphics card with a ton of RAM and its own sound card. So, oh, and I've got a one terabyte hard drive now. So, hopefully when I get the Windows Movie Maker found and put on this computer, I will be putting up the videos uh, that we shot in Disney World. Until next time, stay awesome.